Patreon supporter Sean Kerwin asked, Hank, I think you could do a video explaining those radar or weather maps you put up. Is the color grading a probability of a tornado or wind speed? Are those ziggy marks lightning? Yeah, Sean, I'd be happy to go into this, and thank you for the idea. Yes, those ziggy marks are supposed to indicate cloud-to-ground lightning strikes. Lightning data is an excellent tool for predicting storm intensity, and I use it all the time to track down ideal locations for dramatic photographs. Other question. Is the color gradient a probability of a tornado or wind speed? The answer is both. I often post a radar screen grab that's split into two different modes, reflectivity mode and velocity mode. In reflectivity mode, some of the beam emitted from radar is reflected back by rain, snow, or hail and detected. That's why we call it an echo. The greatest reflectivity comes from hailstones and large raindrops displayed in pinks and purples, and the smallest, the more tiny hydrometers like light rain and drizzle in yellow and green. Reflectivity mode also helps us detect possible tornadoes. When the cross section of precipitation makes a hook shape or a hook echo, we can infer strong rotation and possibly a tornado. But I rarely see a classic hook echo this pronounced. Check out these tornadoes and the non-hooking reflectivity scan of its parent storm. That's where velocity mode steps up. Velocity mode is like X-ray vision. It's a powerful tool for detecting circulations within a storm. Red indicates wind moving away from the radar and green toward the radar. A relatively small concentrated area of inbound and outbound stronger velocities coming together indicates strong rotation and possibly a tornado. It may look confusing, but you get used to it. All I see is blonde, redhead, brunette, have a look at those same tornadoes with velocity mode. Together, reflectivity and velocity are powerful tools for detecting tornadoes. With this available, I've taken some huge risks and chased tornadoes in almost zero visibility. Check out this up-close monster tornado at night. Lightning, uh, just a good lightning strike. Oh, that was a good one. A couple weeks ago, on May 1st, I got my first tornado of 2018. Watch how I use velocity to navigate through the rain toward this tornado. I'm following it, it's right behind all that gray. I think I see a giant tornado in there. Yep. It did it. The storm did it. Barely see it up ahead. Tornadoes can and often do change direction. And the radar scan you are viewing could be several minutes old. Also factor in, the circulations detected on radar can be several kilometers aloft. And the tornado's position at the surface can be displaced as it bends diagonally through the storm. Even with velocity data, going after a tornado in a low visibility environment is an excellent way to get yourself killed. So don't try it at home. Because you might have to wait a long, long time. You gotta drive to Oklahoma.